Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This antenna that I have at my feet is a seven band uh, spiderweb antenna uh, that covers uh, 10 down through 40. It actually covers 40. It's from Ford Alpha, um, is the manufacturer, and they sent this thing to me just as the first snow fell last winter. So we have a clear day today. If you look around, there is snow uh, here and there, and <laughs> it is definitely not spring yet. We wish it is. We wish it were. It will be officially in a few days, of course. Okay, so this is the antenna they sent me. It's a substantial box, and I thought what we'd do today is open, open the box and see what's inside. I have seen a video of this being put up, but it only shows part of putting it up. Now, From what I could tell of the video, this is going to be fairly easy to set up. Boy, it's sure packaged, isn't it? Look at this. The elements are already pre-cut and they have little strings to, or springs to hold them tight. That's a really nice touch. Okay, and it's got all kinds of elements in here. Various ropes, things like that. Here is the center right here. And this is very unusual. Most antennas, when you get them, like from Cushcraft or anybody else have got a lot of things that you need to set up. But this well this thing is packaged. It is ready to unfold into an antenna. Look at that. It just unfolds. Well, I really like that. Okay, and this in here is the ballon. Well, I gotta tell you, I think this thing is packaged to withstand a tornado. Okay, so that goes down like that. This is the center that holds it up. Okay, and then these poles are extensions that go on these. And there's uh, here's some more elements and some guy rope even, which I think you need to hold the tips out and up. More poles. And 
and a whole bunch of things to hold it together and a bunch of hardware. This is oblique wind rope. It can be used for about 15 years but needs to be checked once a year. Okay, well that's a good warning. Now, left inside here is a single washer and nut that came off of something. Okay, so that's what's inside the box. Now, we'll be assembling this when we get to the uh, Okay, this attaches down here to it, and then you've got the weight coming through, and you put some nuts on that, and that'll hold that in place. This is sturdy. I really like this. So we're going to make this antenna. In the next video. We're going to make it. I'm really impressed by the sturdiness, the quality, the well thought out build. Everything marked easily and appropriately. And in the next video, we'll put it together. So I'll show a picture of where to go to get the manual. Put it together there's no printed manual in this which is common these days you've got to go online and get the manual but the thing is simple enough you could almost put it together without one this tall center pole will hold ropes that go out the ends of each of these and then the wires will be connected see there's the 10 meter wire the 12 meter the 15 and then we put the extension pole in there and uh, 30 and 40 meter poles on it. This is nice. This is so much sturdier than the one that I had before. So let's go inside and look up the instructions for this. So there you have it. The antenna is made by 73 antennas. 73antennas.com is it, is it plural? It's plural, yes. And the product is this uh, 7 plus 3 HF cobweb antennas. The price is $489 US. Okay, and there's a bunch of pictures. And we looked at the pictures down here, and they've got enough pictures. And considering how much this antenna is already put together, I'm not sure we're going to need a manual. So we'll do that next time we have a sunny day. We'll get that out there and get that picked up and uh, see how we go from there. I, I'm excited about this antenna. This is one of the rare HF antennas that doesn't come as a pile of parts. It has a bunch of things that you can connect together easily and they will form uh, the antenna itself. So um, I'm impressed as I was uh, telling my assistant, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm worthy of such a fine antenna in my collection. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, in the next video, we'll put it together, put it up and test it. Okay. If you would like to support this channel, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. Also be sure to check out our monthly giveaway by going to decastlercom slash giveaway. And Please don't forget to subscribe and click like and tell your friends about this video. And until we next meet, 73.